August 18, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and eight months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 541 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine may have advanced yet agent near Robotine, however there are no official reports from Ukraine, only Kremlin mouthpiece comments. The police station in temporarily occupied Enigoda was excitedly smoking. Heavy shelling on most of the front. Moscow air defense was active. Dnieper line. Neither side reported any ground attacks or river crossings in this area, though it is likely that the Kremlin continues to attempt infiltration missions. Kherson Arblast's right bank absorbed at least 200 shells in the last day, with civilian casualties. Zaporizhia front. No official line changes announced by either side, but some Kremlin mouthpieces have suggested that Robotine is empty of Kremlin troops. Those reports suggest the invaders having resorted to shelling alone. Further west near the Morky Yoli, Ukraine reported that their liberation operations continue. The Kremlin made two blocking attacks in this vicinity, likely to disrupt rotation and resupply. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming that the Ukrainians here have exhausted themselves. East Front, Donetsk. Marienka and Avdiivka saw repulsed Mobik attacks. Another attack was made on the town of Krasnoharivka, north of Marienka and southwest of Donetsk. Kremlin glide bombing and missile strikes were notable. Bakhmut area. For the second day, some reports are suggesting that Kremlin forces may be launching attacks, from grounds further west than what Ukraine is officially reporting. This includes areas both north and south of the city of Bakhmut. Kremlin drones or missiles attempted or completed strikes at Kramatorsk. Oskil border front. The defenders of Biloharivka deserve accommodation, as yet again they've repelled a Kremlin attack southeast of the town. Shelling was heavy around Kupainsk, but it appears that Ukraine has managed to halt any Kremlin advances in the last day. Kremlin mouthpieces report that Ukrainian troops may be forced to abandon Sinkivka, due to the road into the town being at risk. These same mouthpieces claim Sinkivka was already taken two months ago. Northern border. Heavy shelling in Kharkiv and southern Sumy. Russian air defense claims to have shot down drones in Belgrad. Some kind of drone struck part of the expo center in Moscow, causing a minor roof collapse. No casualties were counted. Black Sea. The USS Mount Whitney was spotted at Istanbul. The Kremlin Navy claims they destroyed a Ukrainian sea drone. The port of Bergensk reported explosions yesterday. The Kremlin's naval fleet on patrol is currently capable of firing at least 12 calibre in a salvo. It is unclear if any missile-capable submarines are also in the vicinity. Ukraine world-related. Ukraine could use the assistance of US war veterans in dealing with PTSD and disability concerns. Poland has arrested 16 Ukrainians from eastern Ukraine, who the Polish police say were working with the Kremlin, to spy and sabotage. Lavrov and Lukashenko are both trying to flex nukes again. The Swedish arms package announced this week will include CV-90s, archer artillery, supply vehicles, demoning equipment, parts and tools, safety equipment, and ammunition. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.